てくれてんだろうか。Quarantine life is about to start. Ascot is already here. We're loading up our stuff. I forgot to say that we've got so much luggage. So, but na lang, they sent over like a really huge van. And our car seat and our stroller is also here. We sent them ahead of time so that we could use them en route to the hotel. So perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna snap it. You can subscribe, subscribe, and click on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. So we've already put Sienna to sleep, and I'm so so tired and so ready to sleep already. It's already at 1 a.m. Already washed my face. Oh, this is a new. Well, not really new enough for me because I've been using it for a while now. So this is by Skin 1004. So Skin 1004 is actually a Korean brand, but they make use of this really powerful ingredient that comes all the way from Madagascar because they want it to be the most natural and purest form of Centella Asiatica. I don't know if you guys are familiar. I've been using skincare already that makes use of Centella. So they get 100% pure Centella essence from Madagascar. And it's awesome because Centella is really known for their healing and protecting properties. So you've got, let's say, a lot of like blemishes or marks, and you're probably already familiar with Centella as a skincare ingredient. But this particular line is really, really good, especially now that I'm so, so jet lagged, and I really feel so dehydrated from the plane ride to the point that when I woke up from our short nap in the plane, because Sienna really wasn't sleeping the entire time, I felt so dehydrated. Like even my throat and everything, talaga, I really felt so dry. And this is really a very hydrating line. It's called their Hyalucica line. So they make use of hyaluronic acid and also centella mixed together. So this is the Hyalu Brightening Toner. And it basically brightens and hydrates your face. And also removes the makeup residue that you know your makeup remover or your cleanser wasn't able to remove. And so this is really something that is able to help you cleanse and tone your face. But at the same time, still very moisturizing. Like it doesn't like leave your skin dry at all. Then I'm gonna make use of the Hyalu Sika Blue Serum. So this is actually a set process. So this is the second step. So this entire line is called the Hyalu Sika Basic Set. So this is the serum. It's called the Blue Serum. It's basically something that is supercharged to really hydrate your face. The entire thing is also no alcohol, no parabens, and none of those ugly, harmful ingredients that we hate. But this I really love. I actually made Yanni use this while we were in Finland. Right, comes. He was experiencing such a dry face, so I call use that because it's really super powerful. This really gives you a deep hydration, especially when we were in Finland. I was experiencing super dry patches here, and I really use this. I love it because it looks super glowy, but it's actually like dry. It's not sticky at all. And then after that, the last step. This one I don't really use every day. It's called the Hyalu Sika Sleeping Pack. I basically use this whenever I feel extra extra tired, or if I know that my skin really needs that extra TLC like now, or if I know that I won't be able to get like a super full sleep. So I want to like fake that good sleep. I use the sleeping pack. So even though I only use this a couple of times a week, you can use it every day. It's super watery. 
it's not at all oily. Like it really feels like you're putting water onto your face. And so you can go really generous and go all out. So yeah, it's been a really long day and I can't believe it's already 1 a.m. really. We arrived at 6 p.m. actually. But it took us so long. We probably got to the hotel around 8-ish and then we had to settle down pa and then put Sienna back to sleep. But surprisingly, the arrival it didn't really take that long. We had like four stops, like the OH, the OT, and then customs and all that. I'll talk more about it in a different vlog. But yeah, it was pretty kind of like seamless. You know, it's not as much of a hassle as I thought it would be, especially traveling with the baby. And then when we got to the hotel, of course our transport was arranged by our quarantine facility, which is Ascot BGC. You can't really arrange for your own transport, it has to be with a quarantine facility. So then we were brought to Ascot. What's different is that we actually didn't check in, like there's no check-in at the lobby. You go straight to the parking, and then at the parking, there's someone from the hotel with a bunch of coast guards who make sure to assist that all your luggages are like fixed and everything, and everyone really goes into the hotel. There was someone from the the reception that was just downstairs helping us check in. This was all done at the parking level. So this is your room number. Your elevator is gonna go straight to your floor. There are no stops. So we went all the way to our floor. No stops, not at all. No one with us, just the two of us. And then we went to our room and then the staff brought our luggage to us and I actually opened our door again after they assisted us to the door because I wanted to take a walkthrough of our walk-in and I put on si Kuya actually just spraying the entire hallway after we arrived like he was sanitizing you were contagious it. no I didn't go out of our room you I were just, contagious I didn't go out of our room I just peeked out to like open the door and then go like this I didn't step out of the room I swear but yeah it, but it made me feel so safe because Kuya was so quick like he just left us and then went going shh the entire hallway. So yeah, it was it was different. That made me feel that okay, quarantine's officially starting. Where did that sudden burst of energy come from? Anyways, good night guys. It's almost 2 a.m. Gonna see you guys tomorrow. But so far that is our quarantine experience. Okay, so we just put Sienna for her nap. She was very ready for her morning nap after breakfast. Like, she was really super tired. It was really easy to put her down for her morning nap. I think she's gonna sleep for a good three hours. A very long three hours. But anyways, I just wanna show you guys my skin after last night's beautiful skincare sesh. I feel like I've recovered from that. No sleep, super duper stressful. Not super duper stressful, but very, very long flight. My brain is actually not recovered yet, but at least my skin has recovered already. <laughs> I think it's really important to hydrate your skin after like a really, really long flight, during the long flight and also after the long flight so that you feel refreshed. I feel like the sleeping pack really made me look like I had a good 12 hours sleep, even though I only had not one only, ma, six hours of sleep, which is kind of good already. It's because Sienna, even though she was already so sleep deprived when we came in last night, she was hysterically crying already when she woke up from the first sleep. 
I think she woke up twice last night, like really, really crying. Like she was really, really tired. Yoni and I took turns. Yoni eventually gave up. So then I went in and then she finally went to sleep now. I feel like the first time she woke up, she was so surprised where she was. Like she probably thought she was still in the plane. She was so confused. And then the second time she woke up, that was, I think, the jet lag so we really had to help her and calm her down and this was around 2 a.m already so i slept from 2 a.m until 9 a.m also seven hours of sleep naman pala. so yeah i got seven hours of sleep comparing how sienna was when we first flew out of manila and then now that we're coming back to manila it's so different like traveling with a four month old baby and a seven month old baby is so so different when we flew out of manila i was so worried and so stressed how she would be on the flight and it turned out she would be super duper easy she was four months old when she was still tiny enough for the bassinet so she slept there comfortably right when we took off she slept and she slept majority of the flight she woke up a couple of hours before landing and then when we got to the second flight she slept a little bit and then she just cat napped in the car so she wasn't already sleeping after the first flight she was tired but still in a really good mood by the time she she saw her grandparents in Finland for the first time, she was still in a good mood. When we put her down, she was also still okay. She wasn't hysterically like sleep deprived and tired and everything. And then now, comparing it to how she was coming back to the Philippines, she was just cranky in our standards because I feel like compared to other babies, she was still okay. But she's been so chill this entire time. We were so surprised how she was coming back home. It was definitely much more challenging because she's already a seven month old baby. So she's also so long already and much bigger. So the bassinet isn't really a comfortable place for her already she likes to sleep on her belly and move around while she sleeps so that was already a problem which is why i also ended up sleeping with her on my seat and then she also likes to play around more her waking hours are longer as well so she wasn't as easy like she was awake most of the flight she only slept like around three hours she's also more observant i mean she's always been observant because she's such a small son but definitely more so now so yeah it was really really very tiring for all of us and i feel like this is why also today i won't be bringing you around with us for our first day of quarantine because we will just be recuperating and recharging and just yeah, but I'll tell you more about the quarantine situation tomorrow on day two. But we already had our breakfast. Apparently, that's how it works now. Our meals have been preset. And then every 6 to 7 a.m., um, they would drop the meals off by our doorstep. So there's a chair outside and then we get our breakfast. So our breakfast for today was salmon toast with eggs benedict. It was really, really good, by the way. So we also already had our lunch because it's a very, very late morning nap for Sienna. It's Korean naman. So that was also really good. So that's how they do the food situation here in quarantine. So they leave it outside, you take it in, and then after you eat, you place it outside again so that they can pick it up. Yeah, so far that's what we've learned during our quarantine. And we're not really complaining. The food is great here in Ascot, GC. And we feel like this is a good time for us to really get our body clocks on track. Okay, so I'm gonna stop babbling now because my brain really isn't working yet. But at least my skin is working well. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Wow! Are we no longer jet lagged? We are still not. We are still We are still. My left toe open. Oh, you yeah. did. <laughs> Besides, because it was so bright. Ah, oh, yeah. Are we crawling? Can you show Mama how to crawl? We'll all crawl together. One big happy family. See? Crawl. Let's try to crawl. Let's try to crawl. Oof! Okay. Crawl to daddy.
my god, I thought she was crawling. So I thought we were gonna get it on video. She actually moved a bit. Yeah. She crawled because of the camera. <laughs> Come to you, camera. <laughs> okay, so what has happened today, Sienna Bug? We woke up at 9 again, same as yesterday, our first day. So today is day 2. And I wasn't able to film our breakfast though, but it was good. It's breakfast for the champions like sausage, bacon, beans, hash brown. Hubs had like a pawn toast. Concussion that was from, from... And how about Sienna Bug? What did you have? You had breast milk and formula. And then now, after your morning nap, we're gonna give you your... What formula! Do you have? And mangoes! Mango again? Or kiwi? Oh, we can have kiwi. We had some fruits delivered by our sister when we first arrived. So my sister prepared some food for Sienna that I asked her to buy for us. And so we have stuff for Sienna Bugsies. There we go. Mine now, Mama. Head bang. Wait long, my love, you will thank me one day for this. Someday. And then, what is on our agenda? We are quarantining still. For a few more days. How many days? We're doing eight days. Sika. Sika. Because we have a baby. So if you're vaccinated, I think you can only you can do five days only. But then since we are with an unvaccinated minor, then it has to be eight days because you're only allowed to do your swab test on the seventh day. And I think Sienna is also getting swapped. First swap ever. Really? Look at her, she her shock, huh? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> We're gonna swap you in your choppy cheek. Which I don't get though. Bite me. He always bites her daddy. With her four savage. Go, go. Teeth. Go, 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 crawl. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's time for lunch. The Hobbs has already eaten his lunch. The mom <sighs> hasn't yet. I know, right? Rude. Have to time these things. Have to eat when you can. Mm. Did you hear that, Sienna Bob? Slap him, yeah, rude. 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 She always tries to get Yoni's glasses. Mama rude. helps you, Mama helps you. <laughs> Why is your ribbon always falling? Yeah, you gave us a too big ribbon. Exactly. Mama will fix this ribbon. Be right back. Okay, so I'm alive. I'm already dressed. I still haven't eaten lunch because there had to do some work stuff. I have so many deadlines because you, you guys know 11-11 is a busy week for us content creators. So it's almost 11-11 as I shoot this. So I have to shoot a lot of stuff. But anyways, moving on. I haven't really shown you around our apartment yet. And now that I am a human being once again, already kind of like 75% functioning, I feel like I can do this tour now. So I am now, it's not in its pristine condition, but you guys saw it when I entered when we arrived. So now you'll just see how we've moved things around to fit our needs. So when you enter, you'll see our dining table over here. We've moved the chairs so that Johnny and I can stay here and Sienna Buck can stay here. I had this sent over to us when we arrived. So I already prepared all the stuff that we need for Sienna. So that when we arrive, we can give our luggage to our driver and our driver can drop off our stuff. One of the things that Ascot told us now is that we had to make sure that whatever we're gonna bring out of here is all set now because after that, nothing goes out now from here. So they said that's, that's the last of it. So really made sure that coming to Manila, I was already packing everything that I wanted to be sent home so that I knew which luggages were gonna stay with us and which ones were gonna send home. So yeah, so Aurabel, our Aurabel chair is one of the ones that I really wanted to bring here so that we can also leave Sienna there and chill if we're both working. What I really love, out of all the hotels that are approved for quarantine, by the government, we really wanted to stay in one of Ascot's properties or Somerset because we knew we were gonna stay for eight days of quarantine because we're traveling with an unvaccinated minor, namely this one, minor pala manner. I knew that we were gonna be here for more than a week. We really needed a space that kind of feels like home. And I feel like that's hard if you're living in a traditional hotel where it's just your room. It's so easy to get cabin fever, especially if you're traveling with a baby or if you're a party of three. 
So yeah, we have our kitchen over here so that I can cook some stuff for Sienna Bug or prepare some stuff for her. We've already moved in some of our stuff, like for example, the Eco Mom, so we can easily sterilize. What I love about Ascot BGC is that, well, all, all of Ascot's properties, is that they have you know, a fully functioning kitchen and they have like a stove. They also have like a washing and drying area. So they have a washer and dryer over here. They also have like big fridge to really store goods. It really is kind of like living in your own condo. One of the things also that's different with the quarantine is that so as I've mentioned, they deliver the food, right? So for breakfast, they deliver it from 6 to 7 a.m. And then for lunch, it's around 12 noon. And then for dinner, it's the same, around 7 p.m. The utensils, you have to use the ones that's already in your room. So you do have to wash your own utensils yourself. So they did provide us with a dishwashing liquid and also a sponge for us to clean our own dishes. There are also some dishes here for us to use if in case we want to cook some big meals as well. So we don't have to call the restaurant or room service for that. We are are free to order they told us you're free to order meals from room service aside from the ones that's already been prepared for us if ever like merienda and stuff like that but yesterday though they sent us this movie tray it's so cute they even showed like okay on at 8 p.m this is showing on hbo so it's movie night tonight and they sent us these like snacks like popcorn and oh sorry sienna bug wants to be part of this okay so they sent us like popcorn chips chocolates and super timing because I was just telling Yoni that I'm really craving for popcorn. Right, Cinnabon? <laughs> Maybe they are listening to us. Maybe there is a Pinoy Big Brother. Kuya? <laughs> Kuya, I would like to give one point to Yoni Koro. Uh, kasi po, may po siya malinis sa bahay. Kailangan ko po laging liquidin yung mga kinakain yung chocolates. So one point po para kay Yoni Koro. Okay, and then one more thing is that you don't have to request for water all the time. There's a dispenser here, which we're very, very happy about. And then this is our living room. We moved the coffee table so that we'd have the space for Sienna Bug to crawl around because Yanni and I have big dreams for her. We feel that this quarantine will be the week that she will learn to crawl. Yeah! 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 So I had our play mat sent over as well, prepared already by Ye Ye. And we put our play pen over here. No, Sienna Bug is not sleeping here. We have a crib prepared by Ascot as well, which is such a nice and lovely surprise. But anyways, moving on with our lives as well. I showed you guys the view when we arrived. It's a really nice view. We've got the Philippine Stock Exchange over there just to remind us about investing in the right stocks. This one I'm really happy about. As a true homemaker, there's so much storage space. These are all shelves. So I'll show you this one, the one that we've used now. So we stored our car seat over here and all those bags that we're not using. I think it's because Ascot has mga long stay, no? So it's kind of like a serviced apartment. That is why they have these storage solutions for us. So here we have our full length mirror to admire our outfit with our hotel slippers. To our right is the master's bedroom. So originally, this was where they set up Sienna's cot or crib, but we moved it because Yanni and I wanted some privacy. What is wrong with me? Why can't I wink? <laughs> it's like it's not a wink yet. <laughs> it's a slow mo wink. <laughs> Poor addict. <I> <laughs> Poor addict drama. There's a beautiful view again over here. Got a nice view of Muji. And oh my god, it's. It's the fort where... Fort Strip. Fort Strip, where the partying used to happen during our meetings. Three days. Anyway, and then we have here our makeup area, office area, and then... So our closets are over here, super duper spacious. And our bathroom! My favorite thing is the bathtub. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect place to chill and to really unwind after that. 14 hour flight where I was not able to use my own bed. Sienna. Do you know why mama wasn't able to use her own bed? You know Sienna Bug? She is in denial. So yeah, there you go. Super nice, beautiful, clean bathroom. So there is no housekeeping while you're doing your quarantine, obviously. And then we have another bathroom over here. This is Sienna's bathroom. Wow, she has her own bathroom. So here we go. So yeah, we still brought our own bathtub with us because that's really convenient to use. And I'm not scared of Sienna sliding down or anything like that. 
back, hitting your head. I really wanted a two bedroom so that Sienna can continue with her sleep training and sleeping independently. So this is why Yoni and I moved the cot, but it's really, really cute. So this is the cot that Ascot prepared for us. There were bolsters and pillows here as well that made it really, really cute, but we removed it because of course for safe sleep. We just um, retained the mattress. Yeah, and Sienna has been sleeping okay man, in this cot. And as you can see, we have two beds over here. This is for our changing area. We really need that big of an area because Sienna is already like always rolling over when we're changing her diaper. This other bed naman is for Yoni when we're fighting. Exactly. No, just kidding. It is where we feed Sienna before sleeping. But also, it could be Yoni's. Note taken. <laughs> so we're now in our sleep suit. We're ready to take another nap. While Mama eats her lunch, Daddy's turn to put her to nap. Last night though, I think Sienna was still experiencing some jet lag. Woke up again at around before 12 midnight and just kept crying. She'd fall asleep and then cry, fall asleep and then cry. And eventually, we were successful. I feel like tonight is the night that she will go back to her old self. What do you think, Hubs? Tomorrow. You think so? I think tonight is the night. Because you know, look, she's sleeping up for her normal daytime nap. So I think possible. Say good night, Cam Fam. That's Mama's food love ball. I was telling Yoni that this feels very kind of like a Black Mirror episode where you know you know you're not alone in this hotel, but everyone has to stay in his or her room. So yeah, it's just it feels very Black Mirror. Or actually Squid Games. Very Squid Games. See you tomorrow, vlog.